Hello, everybody. It's Paul and East from Torah Life Ministries. We are continuing to read the Bible every day, and we are up to the Song of Songs, Chapter 6. And we're going to open up with the Shema this morning, uh, found in Deuteronomy 6, 4 to 9. Shema Yisrael, Yahweh Eloheinu, Yahweh Echad, Baruch Shem Kivu, Mahutov Leolam Vaed. Hear, O Israel, Yahweh is our Elohim, Yahweh is one. Blessed is the name of his glorious kingdom for all eternity. And you should love Yahweh your Elohim with all your heart, with all your soul, and with all your might. And have these words which I command you this day be upon your heart. And you shall teach them diligently to your children. And speak of them when you sit in your house, when you walk by the way, when you retire, and when you rise. And you shall bind them for a sign upon your hand, and let them be frontlets between your eyes. And you shall write them on the doorposts of your house. And upon your gates. Amen. Amen. So we are up to the Song of Songs, uh, chapter 6, as we continue reading uh, this uh, wonderful book here. And we look at the young woman of Jerusalem talking and saying uh, in verse 1, Where has your love gone, O woman of rare beauty? Which way did he turn? So we can help you find him. And then the young woman says in verse 2, My lover has gone down to his garden to his spice beds, to browse in the gardens and gather the lilies. Verse 3, I am my lover's and my lover is mine. He browses among the lilies. And a note here for uh, chap uh, verse 6, verse 3, or chapter 6, verse he says, The girl said that she and her lover belonged to each other. They had given themselves to each other, uh, unreservably, no matter how close we may be to our parents, to our best friends, only in marriage can we realize complete union of mind, heart, and body. And then uh, verse 4 reads, uh, the young man says, praising his bride's beauty, you are beautiful, my darling, like the lovely city of Tesra. Yes, as beautiful as Jerusalem, as majestic as an army with bellowing banners. And the verse here for verse four says, Tezra was a city about 35 miles long, northeast of Jerusalem. Its name means pleasure or beauty. Jeroboam made Tezra the first capital of the divided Northern Kingdom, majestic and, and as an army with bellowing banners, means that his beloved must have had um, inspiring beauty or awesome inspire or, or inspiring beauty like a mighty army ready for battle and verse four in uh one new man bible reads the uh, the uh, this compares the power of an awesome country girl who represents uh, the firm strong believer to the power of an army so we read verse five now turn your eyes away for they are overpowering Oh, they overpower me. Your hair falls in waves like a flock of goats winding down the slopes of Galeed. Your teeth are as white as sheep, and they are freshly washed. Your smile is flawless, each tooth matched with his own twin. Your cheeks are like rosy pomegranates behind your veil. In verse 8, even among 60 queens and 80 concubines and countless young women, I would choose my dove, my perfect one, the favorite of her mother, dearly loved by the one who bore her. The young woman see her and praise her. Even the queens and royal concubines sing her praises. And the, the note from verse 8 and 9 here says, Solomon did indeed have many queens, and in parentheses says wives, and concubines. Uh, polygamy, uh, through, uh, though not condemned, was common in Old Testament days. Solomon said that his love for this woman had not diminished since their wedding night, even though many other women were available to him. So that was verse 8 and 9. And then verse 10 says, Who is this arising like the dawn, as fair as the moon, as bright as the sun, as majestic as an army with bellowing banners? And the young woman replies, I went down to the grove of the walnut trees and out to the valley to see the new spring growth, to see whether the grapevines had budded, 
or the pomegranates were in bloom. Before I realized it, my strong desire had taken me to the chariot of a noble man. And in verse 13, the young woman of Jerusalem reply, return, return to us, O maid of Shatum. Come back, come back, that we may see you again. And the young man says, why do you stare at this, at, at this young woman of Shalom as she moves so gracefully between two lines of dancers? And that is uh, chapter six of the book of Song of Songs. Uh, the Song of Solomon and his uh, wonderful way of the poetry that's uh, it's expressed here about this relationship. So that is uh, that. And uh, remember, folks, pray, praise, proclaim, proclaim, read and repent, submit. We're going to finish off here with the ironic benediction in number 624 to 26. Yerifkika, Yahweh, Vivishmarikika. Yo er Yahweh Panana Alaka Vikunika Yosi Yahweh Panana Alaka Yasem Akashalom Yahweh bless you and keep you. Yahweh make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. Yahweh lift up his constant upon you and give you peace. Amen. Amen. All right, everybody, have a blessed day out there today. Yahweh be with you and uh, shalom shalom. <laughs>